great. So, excuse my home attire. We've got muzzle training for another stage of our puppy development. So muzzle training, um, my dogs, as you can see, are not <laughs> dogs that look like they would need to use the muzzle in a traditional um, idea of what muzzles are for. Um, but I muzzle train all my dogs because if they know what a muzzle is and they accept them as being nice and comfortable and something that's not scary and unusual for them, then in a medical emergency, if they were injured, if they were going into seizure, anything like that, and we needed to be able to put right, um, a muzzle on them so that whoever's giving them treatment can get to them safely, um, then we can put the muzzle on without freaking them out. Muzzles are often used in medical emergencies because dogs can be obviously in pain, they might not recognise who's around them and when they're in pain they can be very scared and that's where sometimes you'll get biting from um, and snapping. Um, dogs that go into seizures also can be uh, very disorientated and don't recognise people that normally are familiar to them so then they can actually bite but they don't mean to bite um, but it just means that if they've got the muzzle on and they're not stressed by it we can just get on with what we need to get on with and pets can get on what they need to, they need to get on with. Um, if they've never had a muzzle on before and they've got something else going on medically then you can imagine how scary that's going to be for your dog. If they're used to a muzzle, it's one less scary thing for them, the same as if you put the collar on them if they're used to wearing a collar. Um, now I've got a Mickey muzzle here, this is a canvas muzzle. Um, Baskerville muzzles are the more common kind that you might see which are plastic and have like a grid at the front and over the top and you also have the greyhound muzzle which is normally a lot bigger wire and, and goes underneath a lot more. Um, they also have the purpose, the Mickey muzzle the being a softer muzzle is quite a handy one for dogs to um, wear when they're training for a start. Um, you've got a lot of access at the end to get treating. The downside to them is a lot of dogs can still nip at the end so if their nose is protruding slightly at the end there they've still got the ability to nip so if they're wearing it because of nipping um, or biting then it's not um, the ideal muzzle for them but if it is to stop them from the air well, to get their mouth around something to snuffle something off the floor things like that then it would it would work wonders and it's certainly a good place to start um, training with but the Baskerville muscle is often the best one to stop dogs from, from getting anything into their mouths, including eating things off the floor. So the idea with the muscle um, is there's quite a few reasons why dogs wear them. A big one for dogs is to stop them from eating things off the floor. So if you've got a dog that has your good boy, if you've got a dog that has um, IBD, diabetes, you know, any illnesses, pancreatitis, where eating something that isn't in their recommended diet can actually cause them a lot of harm. Um, epilepsy, for example, with Cassie, if she had chicken, she's more likely to have gone into seizure. So obviously having chicken wasn't good. If she was a dog that snuffled off the floor, I might have used a muzzle to stop her eating anything with chicken in because so many items, um, even different flavours of dog food, have got chicken in them somewhere. Um, so a very common reason for people to use muscles is so that they can walk their dogs without the risk of them eating something that they shouldn't um, and then going actually going into a medical emergency through that. We also have dogs that eat things that they shouldn't be eating such as twigs and stones and things like that or even <laughs> even cobraphrasia which is where they eat other poo. Um, so by putting a muzzle on um, you can prevent that happening so if you see a dog with a muzzle it might actually be because they are a dog that likes to sniff and eat things off the ground and it's just to prevent them from doing that. Um, another reason that a dog might be wearing a muzzle could be if they're nibbling themselves, so they may have had surgery and they've now got the fur growing back, uh, could be they have a growth somewhere, they might have a tumour somewhere, and if they're nibbling at it they're not going to do it a lot of good, so popping a muzzle on them stops them from doing it. And it's a lot more comfortable for a dog than wearing the, the big Elizabethan collar, the buster collar. Um, so, you know, seeing a dog wearing a muzzle if you're out and about, doesn't necessarily mean it's it's a dog that's going to try and bite. In fact, <laughs> out of all the dogs you come across, the ones wearing the muzzles are the ones that are not going to bite. So actually, they're probably the safer dog to be around, in fairness. Um, but yes, muzzle training, always a handy one to have. Um, it's a really good skill for dogs to know. I've always got this with me um, when we're out and about in case we ever need it. Never have done, but you never know. So what I'm going to show you is how we muzzle train, the best way to start teaching your dog what on earth a muzzle is and what it's for and to make it nice and comfortable. Um, it's a very similar method to how we halty train and halties are the material that goes around the muzzle of a dog and makes it much easier to walk when they pull. 
but it's a very, very similar method to say what we want. Is my dog here, so you can see what I'm doing. So this is Merlin. And all I'm going to do initially is I'm going to push my treat in through the end, so you can see it through the muzzle here. <laughs> Look how excited he's getting. And when he puts his nose in, yes, he then gets the treat. Okay, so I'm just going to see if I can turn so you can see that a bit better. Come on in. Oh, <laughs> and there's his nose. You can see how easy it is for him to get the treat. Hang on. Can you pop it in? Muzzle. Yes. Good boy. Okay, so I'm not forcing that on him at all. Muzzle. He's putting his nose in. Okay. The best way to start with muzzle training is for your dog to be voluntarily putting their nose in, not putting it on your dog. Imagine how scary that would be if someone speaking a different language shoved something on your face. Really scary. Good boy. Muzzle. Haven't done this with Merlin as a training exercise for years, I will admit. Been a bit lax. Okay, muzzle. Good boy. Nice. Muzzle. And you can see the nose there and how easy. Muzzle. And how easy it is for him to take that treat. Good boy, aren't you? Yes, you are. So let's do a little bit of that for Ripley. Now, this is way too big for Ripley. Little puppy. So it's, it's not ideal to wear, but it's ideal for training. Right. What's this? Yes, straight in there. It's good you'll be like your food, isn't it, young lady? That's a good girl. So again, all I'm doing is putting it in the end like this. She puts her nose in. Yes, and then I'm treating. Okay. Good girl. Initially, you put it in as far as you can possibly get your fingers in. Good girl. Okay, get out now. Then we're going to start holding it your side so that then the nose goes into the muzzle without the tree in it. It's just at the other end. Good girl. Genuinely never done this with her before. Muzzle. Good girl. And then you put the treat in once the nose is in place. That may take a couple of sessions. It depends on your dog. I'm working with a puppy that's had no bad experiences around her face. You may have a puppy that, that either is very sensitive around the face or you may have a rehome dog that's either had to have a muzzle on before and doesn't like them. Good girl. Um, or has, has had other issues around their faces. Um, if they have had a muzzle on before and a bad experience, use a different muzzle to train them with. Okay, if they've had Baskerville, use Mickey muzzle, etc. Good girl, yes. So then what I'm starting to do <laughs> is leave her a few seconds before I give her the treat. What a good girl. But she's not even taking her in head out now. I'm not actually making her do that, as you can see. It's just on her. Muzzle. Good girl. Yes, it's down there. Good girl. That's very clever. So then what I'm going to need to do is actually start using it as a muzzle. As you can see, there are areas on there to do it up around the dog. So I'm going to pop it on her. Good girl. And I'm just going to hold on to it. <laughs> and then take it back off, okay? You don't wanna just chuck it on her and hope for the best. You want it to make it a pleasant experience for her. But I'm not doing it up just yet. There's a good girl. So two treats, yes. Good girl, good girl, that's very nice. And then at some point, I'm gonna to need to do it up. So good girl, a good girl, clever. I'm literally going to Do up the class, which obviously she can hear. And then I'm going to take it straight back off. Yes, good girl. She has no treats once it's off, because I want her to know that wearing it is what gets her the food. Clever girl, aren't you? So as you can see, I've armed myself with plenty of treats to start this. Are you a good boy? Do you want to do it? Muzzle. <laughs> Muzzle. Good boy. Muzzle. Muzzle. Got it? Doing very well. <laughs> I can't do that. Right, that's longer than I wanted it on for, so let's take it off. Good boy. I need to like, undo it a bit for Merlin's nose. He's bigger than Ripley. But there, a little practice with Merlin as well. So another one of these with Ripley. This is very exciting, isn't it, Poppy? Muzzle. Muzzle. And you don't want to just leave it on them. Good girl. Good girl. Touch. 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 Yes, good girly. Because what will happen, there's a good girl. If you just leave it on, is they'll start to do the... Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Wait. 
none of that. There's no food, Merlin. There's no food, darling. You're a good boy. It's all right, Ruth. Um, see, they both are arguing over wearing the muzzle now because they think it's the best thing in the world. Um, if you suddenly put it on your dog and just leave it on them, you're going to get the dancing of the muzzle, which you also get with Holtis quite often. It's down there, hang it which is where they try and get it off and they put the claws in it, they rub it on the floor, they rub it on people's legs. If it's slightly too big or you haven't tightened up the straps and they get it off, they know they can get it off, they'll keep trying to get it off for the remainder of however long they're wearing it for, for years. Um, however, if you put it on them, short amount of time, get them to do something, make it fun, you <laughs> she desperately wants to put it on, um, then they don't want to take it off because they think wearing it's a great thing to do and then you can put it on them before you do a little bit of training perhaps other types of training put it on them before you do a bit of chasing games obviously not with a toy that they need to put in the mouth because they can't you're a good girl aren't you mm -hmm. wait put this back on good girl do a twist Ripley. How about that? what's up there it is good girl what's this touch Yes, good girl. Good touch. Okay, you can't see very well from that angle, I suppose. Good girl, aren't you? Yes, you are. Um, so do something fun. So there we did um, a paw, a touch, a couple of touches, so that she could do some training while it was on her, get used to the feel of it. Once they're getting used to the feel of it for a few minutes here and there, um, then they're pretty much ready to wear them, um, and you can then start using it and wearing, you know, using it for your dog if you need to use it. Um, a bit of a practice couple of months you know just like I'm doing with Merlin to remind them goes quite a long way and just things that if you did use it I hope you never do need to use it in a medical emergency but if you did need to use it um, then you know you can and you know your dog will be comfortable with it muzzle good boy <laughs> muzzle yes <laughs> muzzle yes good boy good boy and muzzle Good boy, you can see how excited he is <laughs> to put it on. Ripley, oh, I dropped it. No, I've dropped it, that's mine. Ripley, muzzle, muzzle. Yes, good girl. Yes. Okay. So, uh, if you've got any questions about muzzle training, do let me know. Um, obviously, um, going back to what I started with, with regards to, there's no food, Merlin regards to um, dogs that have to wear them so you've got food you've got medical and then you've got dogs that either are reactive or fearful um, have a history of nipping or biting or chasing so it might be that they chase animals and we don't want them to, to get to what they're trying to chase so we put muzzle on them um, doesn't make them an aggressive dog a dog wearing a muzzle wherever it might be over at your park out the walk etc might be in a training class it could be at uh, the vets it might be to protect the dog, you know, you can have a rescue dog and not know the history of them. It might be you've had a dog from a puppy and you do know the history of them. Um, by protecting your dog and preventing them from being able to nip, it means that that dog can't nip, which means that they can't get themselves into trouble. OK, um, it could be that actually your dog's fine, but they have a tendency to, to have dogs coming over to them. And when they have dogs coming over to them, they get fearful. And if they've got a muzzle on, it stops them from reacting in a way that you might not be expecting. You might not know what the dog's going to do. Um, also, having a muzzle on your dog is, is one for surefire way of stopping people letting the dogs come over to you because they instantly think your dog's aggressive. Well, of course, their dog can still bite. The dog with the muzzle now cannot bite. It is wearing a muzzle. Um, so, actually, they're probably the safest dog for your dog to go over to. And I obviously don't let them go over just for the sake of it. So if you've got a dog that's got a muzzle on, but the owner says they're fine, they don't need to be left alone, you know, it's to stop them from snuffling off the floor, or they're wearing a muzzle, they just need a little bit of space. It doesn't mean you need to take a completely wide berth and pretend that dog doesn't exist. It just means give that dog a bit of respect and a bit of space, as all dogs should be getting anyway, um, and not letting your dog rush over to them. Maybe don't go over and try and pet them, ask. Um, well, dogs wearing muzzles, as you can see, can still get treats, even the basket built muzzle, you can treat through the sides and through the end. And I've worked with a lot of dogs that have worn muzzles for varying reasons, in classes, in one-to-one -one training and all sorts. Um, treat them no problem at all, use them as demo dogs and absolutely great dogs to work with. They've just got the muzzle there as protection for them, for whatever reason. 
um, and they're not bad things to have, okay? So muzzles have come a long way. You can get a lot of styles. If you want to muzzle train your dog and you're not sure what would fit them, um, you have different shaped ones for different shaped dogs. So for example, the shape that I've been working with is ideal for a long-nosed dog. So works for my terriers, would work for board collie, sheltie, you know, longer noses, jackson, something like that. But if you have a flat faced dog like a boxer, that's probably not going to fit the shape face properly. Whereas the Baskerville muzzles do actually do a nice shape, literal square, which fits onto a boxer's nose really nicely. Um, and again, the Greyhound muzzles are shaped for their long slender noses and the shape of their head as well. So, um, you know, talk to people that produce the muzzles. You're very welcome to ask me questions about muzzles anytime. I'm always happy to help. Um, if you want any help with muzzle training, let me know. I'm always happy to help with that as well. Um, and if you have successfully trained your dog to wear a muzzle and you use them, brilliant, post a pic, we love to see them um, and celebrate them a little bit because they often do get the bad end of the uh, of the, the attention from people that don't know quite what muzzle training is all about. But good on you if you're muzzle training your dog, a uh, worthwhile thing to teach. So grab a muzzle and away you go, muzzle training.